Saul was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned over Israel for 42 years. During his reign, Saul ruled over Israel and fought against their enemies on every side. Saul would do as the Lord instructed, and God gave them victory over their enemies every time. But as time went on, Saul became confident in his own ability to rule and began doing as he pleased, rather than obeying the words of the Lord. One day the Lord said to Samuel, I regret that I made Saul king. He has turned away from me and does not obey my instructions. The following day, Samuel went to Saul and said, you have not obeyed the Lord. Therefore, since you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you as king over Israel. Even though Saul begged and pleaded to remain king, Samuel told Saul, the Lord has torn the kingdom of Israel from you today because you do not keep his commands. Now the Lord has sought out a man after his own heart and will appoint him as king over the people of Israel. From that time on, Samuel never saw Saul again, though he mourned for him. One day, the Lord said to Samuel, How long are you going to mourn for Saul, since I have rejected him as king over Israel? I'm sending you to Bethlehem to a man named Jesse. I have chosen one of his sons to be king. Samuel took oil and traveled to Bethlehem to anoint the one whom God had chosen. As soon as he arrived, he found the man named Jesse. He asked him to bring all his sons before him. As soon as Samuel saw his first son, Eliab, he thought, surely the Lord's anointed is standing right here before us. But the Lord said to Samuel, he is not the one. Do not look on his appearance or his height, for the Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Seven of Jesse's sons passed before Samuel, but each time the Lord did not choose one to become king of the people of Israel. Finally, Samuel asked Jesse, are these all the sons you have? They're still the youngest, Jesse answered, but he's tending to the sheep. Samuel said, send for him, for we will not sit down until he arrives. When the boy arrived, Samuel saw that he had beautiful eyes and handsome features. Then the Lord said, Rise and anoint him. He is the one. So Samuel took the oil and anointed the young boy named David in the presence of his brothers. From that day on, the Spirit of the Lord came on David as the anointed future king of Israel, chosen by God.